welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. I had this years ago, it was actually my first high-end foundation and I remember absolutely loving it. Packaging back then was different than how this is and it was also called the Tattoo Lock It Foundation. So it made some changes then, I don't think the formula has changed at all though. I recently won this from Poshly which is a mainly makeup giveaway site and I was so excited about it because this used to be one of my favorite foundations. At Sephora this goes for $30 which I don't think is bad at all. A lot of Sephora Ulta higher end foundations typically go for somewhere around the 40, 45 mark or up depending on the brand. And Sephora described this foundation as a high pigment full coverage foundation with a matte finish and 24 hour wear. All of Kat Von D cosmetics are also cruelty free which is awesome and I know this foundation is vegan but I'm not sure if all of her products are. This foundation also comes in 30 shades which is awesome. A lot of brands have been kind of having a smaller selection of colors lately which kind of really sucks and makes it harder for paler or darker people to find the right color for them. But the lightest shade of this foundation is almost white in my opinion. I think they actually make a white one too as like a mixer. And the deep shade I think was called Deep Espresso or it's described as Deep Espresso and that one's also very deep. I've worn this foundation a few times since winning it and my skin has definitely fluctuated each time that I've used it. There's been days where it's been very normal and the foundation laid perfectly and then there's been days where my skin has been very dry or it's just had a few like scattered dry patches around. And the days where my skin has been dry, this foundation does not work good at all. It immediately clings to dry patches which really sucks and then there's patches I didn't even know that I had and I'm putting on the foundation and all of a sudden it's just clinging to all these spots. It's very disappointing, so if you have dry skin or even slightly dry skin, this foundation is definitely not going to be the one. But on days where my skin has been normal to slightly oily, it's been very good. It definitely does have that matte finish. I feel like I always powder down my foundation just so I can put bronzer and blush and everything on top nice and smoothly because I do prefer powder products for all of those. But I don't think you absolutely need to set it. It does last pretty long. I've never worn it for 24 hours, so I can't really say anything about that claim. I would never wear a foundation for that long. I've worn it for maybe like 8 hours at the most because that's typically how long I can just like keep makeup on my face without starting to feel too heavy and too cakey and looking too gross. I do feel like the foundation applied a little bit better today than it had previous times because I had a little bit more drier skin before and I've been trying to keep it more hydrated. But I do still feel like it's a little bit hard to blend mainly because it's a very thick formula. When you pump this out onto your hand and like move your hand sideways or something you're going to notice that it's not going to drip down. It's going to pretty much stay right in place. I think between the brush and the sponge you kind of get the same amount of coverage but I like how the sponge applies it better just because you're also getting a little bit of that moisture in it from the sponge where it's just the brush you're just kind of buffing it in and I feel like it can wind up looking a little bit more cakey with the brush so the sponge just kind of helps smooth it out a little bit better it's I don't think it has any less coverage so you don't have to worry about that typically a sponge can give you a little bit less coverage than a brush would but I don't really find that with this one, possibly because it's already such a thick foundation so the sponge isn't soaking it all up. As you can see on the side where I applied the foundation with the brush, it looks a little bit cakey around my nose. It's kind of showing my pores a lot more than they typically do. It looks like it didn't, well obviously it didn't cover them, but it looks like it laid right around them so it's just really accentuating them and it just doesn't look good right there. The rest of it doesn't look too bad though. It doesn't look as cakey as it would if my skin was a little bit drier. Once we start getting to the end of the day, I found that it does start to separate around my chin and my nose quite a bit. Not awful, like if you're looking from afar, you're probably not going to be able to tell, but when I'm right up close in the mirror about to take my makeup off, I see where it's breaking apart and it doesn't look good at all. It looks a little bit oily. The rest of my skin looks good though. It definitely does stay mostly matte throughout the day aside from those areas, mostly in the T-zone where you're going to get oily pretty much no matter what. But even without setting it or repeatedly setting it throughout the day, it does look pretty decent, which is nice. Moral of the story is though that it's not good for dry skin at all. I'm hoping that I can keep my skin moisturized. I don't understand why it's been so dry lately. For as long as I can remember, my skin has been so oily. And just recently it's been getting a lot drier. I had like a really bad dry patch around here not too long ago that wouldn't go away for I feel like I had it for like two months and it just wasn't going away. And then the last time I used this foundation before today, I had a bunch of little ones on this side of my face. And I just really couldn't understand why, but it does immediately cling to dry patches. There's like no saving it, even with a beauty blender or like a setting spray. It just 
it's gonna look cakey and it's gonna look dry on those spots. So if you're dry skin, this is absolutely a no-go. If you have normal to oily skin or your combination, I think it's a good foundation, but just keep in mind it can look a little bit cakey with a brush. I think beauty blenders are the better option for it, but it's all up to your personal preference and it's going to apply differently to everyone. I definitely don't like it as much as I used to years ago when I first started it. I remember I threw out that bottle not too long ago, I don't know why I held on to it for so long, but it was almost empty so I know I really loved it, but I also wasn't good with makeup back then. I was kind of just starting, that was my first high-end foundation so I was still kind of learning. So I might have just really liked it because of how full coverage it was, but now that I've tried out so many other foundations, I feel like there are better ones out there that can still give you full coverage, but are not going to be as heavy looking on the skin. So would I actually repurchase this? No, I'm glad I only won it and didn't buy it again. I was never thinking to buy it again, but it was exciting to win it. I'm definitely still going to use it because there's no reason not to as long as my skin is good. It's going to lay well and it's going to be pretty decent throughout the day. I really hope this review was helpful for you. If you have any video suggestions or any products in particular you would like me to review, please let me know in the comments. I would absolutely love to try new things out. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye!